what's happening to the world while we're at it? This is, this is glitched as hell. What the shit? Look at that pile of chickens! It's like freaking twice as tall as the average chicken man. That's crazy! What is going on guys? Riot here playing Totally Accurate Battle Simulator and today we're going to be checking out some awesome shit as well as some stuff that isn't even in the game yet. We're just going to be looking at some awesome content provided by actual landfall games like the people showing off the stuff before it's completed. And it's pretty damn insane because it's like the Energy Sword Master which is essentially a double lightsaber. It's basically Dar Darth Maul's lightsaber and that right there is just too much for me. See, many of you may know already about a lot of awesome stuff that they've been showing off to the community that isn't in the game yet, like the anti-gravity backpack, the neon projectile, the warhammer, the pharaoh. The pharaoh's insane, it's just like a, it's a dude who doesn't carry any weapons or anything, he just walks up and everyone instantly bows before him and just loses. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy, but the freaking sword master is like the newest one that I'm the most ecstatic about. Alright, let's take a look at the energy sword master right now. There's an, an energy sword guy, of course, which just wields just a standard lightsaber, but this one's so much more badass. He's got a he's got Darth Mater's Darth Mater. Darth Darth Mater. Darth Maul's freaking lightsaber. Look at that thing. He's got legit Jedi skills too. He's clearly trained with the force. There's something going on there. There's no way this guy just picked up a lightsaber randomly and started going with it. There's clearly some sort of connection. Maybe he's in the bloodline of the Skywalkers, something's going on there. He's Obi-Wan's bastard child we never heard about, you know, while he was just chilling as an old man. Dude, this guy is kicking ass, so look at this thing. The, the, the game is going to be so much better. And the game is going to get so much better once this guy's in the game. It's just, it's just going to be insane. It's holy fuck, we're going to be able to do Star Wars battles. Yes! Take a look at that one more time, just for the precision and awesomeness. Look at this, he just chops right through everything. It's like... His lightsaber not only blocks all their weapons, but just kills them instantly. Honestly, he's, he's Jedi like a pro. I don't think he's going to be able to dodge M16 bullets or anything, because luckily those aren't in a galaxy far, far away. But either way, this guy is like, I am so freaking ecstatic. I don't get excited for a lot of stuff in tabs, because like I'm usually excited for other stuff in other video games. But this right here, that is just, I always have the weirdest like Star Wars nerd boner ever. Look behind me. There's a freaking Star Destroyer coming through my window right there. <laughs> I suppose I should worry about that shit. One thing I was messing around with that was tripping me out. It's the most disturbing thing ever. Holy shit, I have to go back to being blindingly white now. Freaking, freaking big ass monitor. Dude, I'm so excited for so many things though. I don't know if I'm working the Warhammer. The Warhammer, the way he operates is so amazing. He just like smashes his hammer against shields and sends people flying back. Hey, pretty much how you'd imagine. And it's like, it's the most entertaining thing ever to watch. So I just could not be more ready for him. All right, so right here we have Santa's army going up against the Dark Peasant. I can't remember why I wanted to do this, but it's just the reindeer just get fucked up. Like, brutally fucked up. Like, factory farm get closed down, animal investigation fucked up. We'll even get a few more in here, just because I want to see him win. Alright, buddies, here we go. I think I was trying to see what- Look at this shit! Look at the freaking decapitated reindeers! Oh god, presents flying through the air. They're actually making some leeway, but it takes so much damage to kill them. Look at this shit. Every reindeer, for the most part, just gets decapitated. It's reindeer head everywhere. I feel like that much reindeer head, I don't know. I don't know if that shocks anybody else as much as it shocked me, but it was just like, it was like watching my childhood slip away in front of my eyes. Like, holy shit, is that Rudolph's lower intestines hanging out of him? Like, it's Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Alright, they've got to be able to kill him right now. An army of Santas this great should be able to destroy any enemy. Even the worst Christmas spirit. Oh my god, it's even lagging in slow motion. That's crazy. Holy shit, I broke the game! Too many Santas. Perhaps slightly less reindeer would be better. I want to see if they were ever able to defeat him though. That's what drives me crazy. Is it's like, I'm not sure the amount of damage needed to destroy a dark peasant. I just know it's a shit ton and these reindeer never are able to, are able to get the job done. It's so frustrating. Oh, by the way, smack that like button if you guys want to see more like pre-released freaking tabs content or if you guys just want me to do it the second it comes out because I am so I'm so down to fuck around with lightsabers I can't wait to see Trump fight an army of Jedi that's like gonna be the best thing ever I feel like that's the that's the best thing about this election is that that's a potential battle we'd see look at that shit just severed reindeer face good god every time why do they all get decapitated it's like the only part that breaks off Okay, this is a Christmas army, like, you know, look at this shit, they all just go in one end and reindeer heads come out the other, and reindeer feet. What is this, it's like a meat grinder, that is so fucked up. <laughs> Talk about a war on Christmas, Jesus Christ. It, it's messed up too, because the dude never even gets decapitated, it's just reindeers. Look, they're not gonna beat him, it's too much of a pile. Oh, this is the reindeer face in the sky, and way beyond over there in the distance, another reindeer face. 
Is that a reindeer ass falling through the clouds? This is a, quite the sight. Who's even left? I, I applaud any reindeer holding on to their life because this- look at this one! He's like a freaking hot dog on a stick. Disgusting. Oh, he's alive in there. There's a survivor down there. Is the dark peasant gonna- oh no, it's this guy! It's these people over here! Okay, this will be over in about a second. In within about a minute. Look at his legs! What the fuck was that? <laughs> little, little twirly carnival legs. That's hilarious. I just want to watch this happen. Oh my god, how could I have predicted more reindeer face floating through the sky? It's kind of ridiculous, actually. It makes me think the game devs hate, hate reindeer. Alright, now one fight I've really been wanting to remake is, has anybody here seen Hacksaw Ridge? Say yes if you've seen Hacksaw Ridge. I can't, I can't hear you, why are you saying yes? But it's like, it's the newest Mel Gibson movie about that guy, the, the freaking conscious, con, conscientious observer? I don't know, some shit. He wouldn't touch a gun, he refused to kill people, he was like a super Christian. But it was a true story about a man who saved like 72 lives or something like that by just carrying bodies off in the middle of war. And it was the most insane movie I've ever seen. I highly recommend everyone goes and sees it. It's like fucking crazy. But I've been wanting to recreate it. It's basically Americans versus Japanese. And I think we could, I was thinking both sides because we don't just want, obviously they had automatic weapons. They did have, they obviously had automatic weapons in the movie. Like they were using pretty much just standard Battlefield 1 weaponry for the most part. But we only have M16s and muskets, and their guns weren't as reliable as the standard M16 today. Obviously they are far more reliable than muskets, but that's just, that's what they're gonna get. The movie also included a shit ton of hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is by far the most gruesome. What happens when the lines combine, and then people bust out their melee weapons and put their guns down? So I was saying we got Japanese and Americans over here, so we'll have these guys all using weapons, and then we'll have about... I don't know, let's just do Samurai. Samurai Masters freak me out. Okay, three, four, five, six, there we go. And then we'll have, we'll have one Samurai Master, and then three Taekwondo dudes. There we go. Alright, and then on this side, I figured Vikings are the most widest thing, well, most American thing? I don't know. It's either that or not the Crusaders. Uh, these guys have swords, though. I was thinking, we do need swords. Footman? Ooh, Footman might be best. Or thief? No, I was thinking like I was thinking Vikings for the most part, since samurais and Vikings were like the most epic. Like I have Viking heritage in my blood, and I'm American, so that's where mine would go. Theirs go samurai. I'm trying to show my like exact logic behind all this. Okay, you have one of those. You have one mask there. Then you have taekwondo. We get three headbutters, and then we'll get freaking six Vikings right on the front line. This is going to be fun. This should be about equal, right? All right, freaking Hacksaw Ridge battle. Let's get it on. Look at these guys just freaking colliding in the middle as everyone gets ready. I'm pretty sure these guys are even. Like, they're evenly matched. Yup, I think a few Samurais have actually killed the Vikings. Oh, shit. Might be unevenly matched. Samurais are better at combat than Vikings. Oh, but this guy's dead. Holy crap, but then they open fire. They just killed the shit out of their own Viking. Brutal. Who threw their gun? Shit's expensive. Oh my god, this is pretty much what the battle would break down to. Everyone reloading. As like the melee guys charge in, there's the viking, the main axeman, there's the samurai right there. This is going down, dude. This is just like Hacksaw Ridge. We just need way more lower intestines and like way more legless people. Apparently nobody had legs back then. Alright, these guys are about- that wasn't even a giveaway. If you've ever studied war, then you know most of it's just people getting their legs blown off. What's gonna happen here, dude? What's gonna happen here? Oh shit! Hoo hoo hoo! He got a shot, I didn't see that coming. Okay, this is unsatisfying to me. It was fun at first, but now there's not enough troops left. So we need to multiply. All right, we're gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six Vikings there. Well, that's how we do it in the hood. You get one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, cool. And then you get another Ninja Master. You lead that side, another, another freaking ax. And then let's go muskets. Get there, there. I don't know, I have no actual directioning for how I'm doing this. I also know it's not going to be even most of the time. It's just going to be almost even, which kind of works out best for me. I'm, I can live with that. Ooh, this shit is getting intricate, homie. Super intricate. Alright, or super unintricate. I don't I don't know the exact wordage I should be using right here. Alright, this should be more like the Hacksaw Ridge battle. It's like it's supposed to be just a straight-up bloodbath. For the sake of a little more legitimacy, we'll put cannon, cannon, cannon. Cannon. Cannon, cannon. All right, what else? What else can we do here to make this even worse for everybody? Do a barrel roll! All right, those guys are just gonna backfire, but there was a lot of fire on the battle, so let's get it on, gentlemen. 
The only way to watch this is, oh shit, you traitorous bastards. Cannonballs are just hurting friendlies. What were we thinking? What was I thinking? Oh, if only we could implement musket charges. Musket charges need to be in this, just for the sake of Battlefield 1. All right, come on. So much gunfire. These cannons are the worst of them all. Hoo-hoo! That one broke through the lines and killed a bunch of people. Yep, this is exactly what I'd be imagining. It's weird that these dummies can't lose limbs yet. You'd think they'd all be able to lose limbs, like arms and legs and shit. You guys know what limbs are, but they should be able to lose them. This is Totally Epic Battle Simulator. Look at these guys flying through the air. That's how you know this battle's epic. Yes! Americans take Hacksaw Ridge! Or have they? They will. They will. This soldier totally has a vagina. Okay, you moved it, so now you can't see correctly. Oh man, just hiding behind the wall. You're just a stupid ass cannon. You killed yourself. So there we go. The first battle of Hacksaw Ridge was... It just wasn't satisfying enough. What was different about it? What is it missing? I feel like it's missing a lot more casualties, which means we need a lot more people on the floor. Let's put a lot of people behind the cannons too, just in case they kill everybody immediately because that's... Oh, this is gonna lag like a mofo right here. It's all good. We'll watch it in slow motion. We'll squeeze every bit of joy out of this bitch that we can. Our front line's gonna be all Vikings and Samurais, baby. That's how we're gonna make this crazier. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I feel like, I feel like definitely on this side you are missing a lot of... There we go. Wait. Oh, man, this is gonna lag so terribly that incredibly heavy. That's... <laughs> Don't talk about your mom that way. That's a terrible joke. All right, boys. This is what I was missing. Way more hand-to-hand -hand combat in the center. That's, that's what this needed, for sure. How the hell did he get... That is a sneaky-ass samurai. Oh my god, so many- I feel like every time they all fire their muskets, the FPS just gets fixed so greatly. Because so many of them are dead. Look at this perfect mechanism! Oh, he shot him! He was like pushing him forward, it was the perfect machine. Dude, that's- OH SHIT! That's exactly what it would be like right there. Like two people chopping each other up, someone getting shot, and then an explosion goes off and just takes them all out of there. That was perfect. Brought a tear to my cold heart. <laughs> Alright, everyone in the center is about dead. FPS is still- actually, you know what? It's doing a lot better. Brave men, barely old enough to start a family. What the fuck happened to that cannon? Man, it's going down over here. Firebombs. Firebombs finally made it to the field. Oh, the samurai is getting his ass shot up. He can't take much more. He's only a samurai. He's not bulletproof. Oh, look at his face. <laughs> oh my god. We saw that cannon. Can't cannon. A cannonball coming in at the perfect moment. It was horrific. You know what though? They're gonna win this round totally. Like I thought they were gonna lose based off Jesus singed body. But if you look around, the Japanese actually have them very outnumbered. Oh man, the Japanese are gonna take Hacksaw Ridge. Oh man, tis not an American victory today. Look at them all, just the remaining survivors hunted down and shot like Oh my god! You got lucky. Just loading their muskets, you fools! I should have given a few of them on each side an M16 just like for machine gunner guys. Holy shit, try and dodge that. Yep, it was not gonna happen. That's your face that just got removed right there. This is beautiful. It's so hard to continue this video and not just go play Battlefield right now. <laughs> Where's the bayonet charges in this game? Come on, goddammit. This guy's just dry humping his cannon. Holy shit, what happened to that guy? Oh my god, yeah, that's the end of it. Okay, so there we go. Dude, I got to recreate Hacksaw Ridge and I could not be happier. What an awesome- holy crap, that's a lot of soldiers. One more thing I was trying to do, I was trying to figure out, was how many- How many chicken men does it take to defeat a dark peasant? Because they do have a bit of an infinite supply of chickens that just kind of swarm the guy. So this right here should- Because I tried like 10, and it looked like the guy was like the dark peasant was taking abuse. And it always intrigues me when something is able to kill the dark peasant. Because that fool is crazy. Straight up sold his soul to Lucifer, and now he just kicks everyone's ass. Not gonna lie, if Lucifer told me I could have like, I don't know, like Thor powers if I give him my soul, I'd, I'd, I'd probably do it, but... So, I can't judge, but we're gonna try and kick his ass anyways. Get him, chicken boys! Alright, let's go in slow. We don't even need to go in slow motion. Ah, but it helps. What the hell is that? Alright, see, at first he spikes the hell out of everyone initially. We all saw that coming. He's crazy. He's the dark, the dark peasant. But now look at this. This is what I like to call a chicken army right here. Dude, he can't even stand upright. It's such a powerful gust of chicken wave. He's just being flung backwards with the fo sheer force of the chickens. You think at a certain point he would die? How many chickens can this guy take? Are you serious? They would like remove the flesh off your bones. Off your, off your, 
Off your, yeah, off your bones. There's a mountain of chickens on top of him! Jesus! This is in slow motion too. There's actually a giant growing mountain of chickens around him. That is hilarious right there. Like, what are you gonna do? How is that not killing him? I feel like if anything, this should kill the motherfucker. He's like trapped in a giant pile of chickens. If he doesn't like poultry, he's in for a really bad time. Dude, he's not dying. What is the meaning of life? And what's happening to the world while we're at it? This is, this is glitched as hell. What the shit? Look at that pile of chickens! It's like freaking twice as tall as the average chicken man. That's crazy. That's a giant pile of chickens right there. That is a game-breaking pile. Look at that pile of chickens! It's huge! Jesus Christ! Mount chicken over here. It's also completely broken my game. There is no coming back from this. Like whenever I go in non-slow motion, it just freezes for a minute. Shit is crazy. Well, I pretty much got my answer. A giant pile of chickens is not gonna kill this guy. Look at that pile of chickens! Oh my god, it's like the proudest accomplishment ever. Dude, I'm proud of this video. This video makes me happy. We have Darth Maul lightsabers and chicken pile towers of mountains. What? I'm satisfied. If you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Yeah.